Hey folks, it's a uh, March 22nd and I'm just getting back from a great little vacation in Costa Rica with uh, two of my kids, my youngest and my eldest. And while I was there, there was a, a bit of Twitter dialogue about the role of awakening the patient. And uh, I didn't catch uh, the uh, full details of the dialogue, but I wanted to give my my take on this and I, I think it's it's something that that uh, is is dangerous to do in critically ill patients and and this is for three reasons um, the first reason is that the trajectory of our patients is is always usually downward in other words our, our, we're not going to be able to awake our patient to a state in which they're independently able to oxygenate and ventilate themselves um, we're intubating our patients because they're ill and if we've struggled with intubation and think that reversing them to some status uh, uh, that's going to be better is, uh, I think, uh, fraught with, with error and problems. Secondly, um, the last thing that I want when I'm having difficulty is having a patient working against me. So everything will be easier in a paralyzed patient once you've made that choice to paralyze the patient, uh, assuming it was the right reason. So, so uh, bag mass ventilation will be easier, direct laryngoscopy will be easier, ultimately placing a supraglottic airway and even doing a surgical airway will be easier than having a patient sort of partially wake up uh, during any of these attempts. The last reason um, is an important one and and this is that we, we keep on if we keep on finding a reason to delay what needs to be done um, then we're gonna get in trouble so ultimately we have to reach a decision to uh, uh, follow through on our, our rescue or, or exit strategy um, whatever that may be but often what we do is we delay making the decision to cut the neck or move to the front of the neck as they say um, and ultimately that's what uh, we need to do we need to simplify the decision-making that uh, allows us to make uh, uh, the right choice so three reasons why I, I don't think awakening the patient is an option for the critically ill patient Spring's almost here, despite the snow.